Okay, uh, so good morning everyone. My name is Priyanka Gataria and I'm from Government Engineering College, Jabalpur. And today I'm here for the presentation of my research topic, which is a critical analysis and comparison of Agile with traditional software development process. So these are the contents that I'm going to cover during the, my whole presentation. Okay, first of all, I'm going to start with traditional software development. Now we all are aware of what is traditional software development. So it is basically a step by step process. The developer, which is uh, start with the analyst who gathers requirement. The second is designer who designs all the requirements and the developer development in which the coding part would be occur. Now the last one, when all the coding has been done, so the tester would test all the coding, the whether if it is having any errors or bugs or not. Then the maintenance part is the a customer related part so uh, during uh, these we can say that agile has uh, the traditional software development technique does not have any feedback related so uh, it can have many errors so uh, the most of the organization are, are now moving into agile software development due to its iterative and incremental nature so these are the my research objectives that i have done first of all i have studied and different agile methods and practices now find I have find whether there is any issues or and how we are agile methods are going to be used. Strength and weakness of agile methods. Now the most important thing I have uh, differentiate the traditional method as uh, agile method and I have studied case studies also. Now these are different agile methodologies that, that uh, some people and organizations are using. The first one started with extreme programming and second is the scrum, the most important and usual agile methodology. Third is feature driven development, fourth is adaptive system development, fifth is dynamic system development method and sixth is crystal clear. The scrum, the scrum is the most important because it's having a creative and incremental nature in my own. First of all, the scrum is started with a splitting organization. Because all the team members, like in software development, the team members are not cross-functional. They are doing their task by individually. But in a Scrum, they are the, all the team members are cross-functionally connected with each other and they are self-organizing. Now, we are splitting our work just like in incremental manner. The first increment product is, has been delivered to the uh, customer. Then the feedback is taken from them and the another, another product is going to be started. Now split time, there is a specific uh, point of time in which the first uh, incremental product has to be complete. Now the optimal release plan has to be uh, covered on that particular when the product has been completed. This is the whole scrum architecture. The, uh, the scrum in the scrum technique, the uh, uh, first phase is the uh, started with the product owner. The product owner is the person who gather all the input from the customer team, the stakeholder and industry expert. Then the task of the product owner is to list all the features of the product in the form of product backlog. Then the development team catch or caught some uh, top, uh, top most uh, priority based feature in the format of sprint backlog. The sprint backlog then uh, provided to the sprint. The sprint is basically, you can see there is a, a, a green circle inside and written sprint. So sprint is basically I think uh, the uh, number of period of time. In that period of time, the first increment should be complete. So before all of these things, the sprint meeting, sprint planning meeting has to be uh, diverted by the scrum master. The scrum master is the second one. He is the person among the uh, team members and development team and uh, product owner. And he is the most experienced person. There is no manager need in any scrum. The scrum master is the manager kind of person. And the, uh, then after all these st uh, st uh, things happens, then we, uh, we can, uh, the pro uh, development team to start uh, producing the product in the some period of time. Then the product has been made and potentially shippable product. That uh, this product is called as first increment. So there is two kind of reviews and there is a, between all of these things, there is a daily scrum meeting. This is a basically 15 minutes meeting where all the team members, the scrum master and a product owner decides what they have done yesterday and what they are going to do uh, uh, tomorrow and what are the blocks that is uh, if any errors or bugs come in the uh, product. So after the, uh, the all this stuff, the product has been ready to deliver. 
so there is a two kind of review the first one is s print review and second is retrospective review so the s print review is all about the product review whether this product is uh, 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 shippable or not there is any error or not and the retrospective is, is a kind of uh, that process we can say that it is a process kind of review that the process selected by the development team is correct or not they want to improve it in any uh, cost of chances so this is all a uh, incremental approach of a scrum master so this is we can say that all architecture so these are already discussed in the scrum framework these are there kind of three kind of rules the product owner the scrum master the development team next these are the ceremonies as print planning daily scrum meet planning as print review and as print retrospective two kind of reviews now artifacts that i already discussed product backlog and as print backlog product backlog is just about list of all the features and as print backlog is about our top top based priority based uh, features has been selected by the development team for making the product so the most important stuff of my research work that i have compared the traditional software technique with agile software technique so there, these are the properties or we can say quality that has been taken by both of the uh, development technique development process linearity requirement specification consistency time boxing period and continually evolving so first of all as we on the a software development process is the most important thing because all the uh, by all the process we develop a single software so in traditional software it is a structured process one a phase is start so it only uh, end when the all uh, that phase has been completed there is no feedback related in the previous one but agile is a flexible process we can uh, there is a co collaboration between all the development team they can collaborate with each other now linearity it are uh, the traditional software technique it is a sequential technique but agile software it is uh, not imposes any linearity requirement specification in traditional software technique we have to uh, define all the requirements in the first phase but in agile software technique the requirement can be changed as per need of user consistency you cannot change anything that has been previously done but in agile the pre other uh, changes can be done as by the product owner time boxing period there are the in the end of every uh, software development technique in the traditional software technique the time has to, could be increased but the agile software technique has the a good advantage that it cannot be uh, the time could not be increased it is a kind of rapid development now continually evolving the developer in uh, the most important thing in uh, every software technique it's the developer met once or twice and the developer must uh, met at least once or twice in a week to share its view or uh, to share the blocks but in our traditional software there is no any kind of uh, de uh, decision making things in the traditional software technique but in agile software there is a called daily scrum meeting technique where all the developers met and share their views for 15 minutes daily Uh, I have uh, studied uh, two case studies that distributed scrum project of Dutch Railways, where they have to publish, uh, they have to make a published system. Uh, so uh, the they have created and they are working on a project with the help of traditional software technique. But due to some uh, 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 difficult approach and they the vendor failed to uh, deliver a working system. So these uh, railway system uh, moved to the scrum and created a very uh, high rate of uh, customer satisfaction product. the second is hr block hr block is basically a text uh, creation working system so they are working they are, they are following it uh, waterfall model methodology over 10 years but due to some inconveniency they also move to the scrum methodology and the outcome outcome of that uh, that uh, uh, agile implementation project both quantitative and qualitative because they have got a very high customer rate satisfaction employee uh, customer relation etc now this is the conclusion of my project because uh, i have compared both the techniques and i found that there is a more uh, customer satisfaction and time management in agile software technique as compared to uh, traditional software technique thank you sir any queries yes ms priyanka thank you very much okay thank you sir yeah anybody if you have some question so uh, we can uh, Uh, um, only two or three questions. Okay, Professor Sharma is asking question. Just a second, sir. Yes, sir. Please hello. ask. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Good morning. Sir. My question is hello. In yes, this sir. technique, uh, 
Hello. Yes, sir. You are audible yes. to me. Hello. Yeah. In this technique, you have to develop a one kind of software. Okay. Now, how to calculate the cost? Uh, so, uh, I have not prepared for. So, yeah? we got to use Cocomo model. Cocomo model. That is the basic models are there. That's the okay. basic model and, of cost. And which yes. model we have to construct this? Uh, so this Scrum. Model? Yeah. Scrum. Yeah, I'm going to use a Scrum framework for pro developing my product. No, just like a, suppose a traditional is a waterfall model. Okay, a spiral model is there. In this uh, agile technology, which model we have to use in a software development? Uh, so as I already discussed, there are several methodology. So just okay. like in incremental waterfall model, they are included in traditional software technique. But in agile software technique, there is called Scrum, uh, FDD and XP. So these are the methodologies that developer use for developing any product. So we can say that these are the kind of models in agile mod uh, modeling technique. Okay. Uh, and then how to test the software? Any uh, uh, manual, uh, manually or any automatic software is there? So there is an automatic software. I don't remember its name, but uh, the developer, the tester use those software for their particular organization. The organization uh, have the only part to so, uh, test that particular software. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you.